New hope tonight in northeast Wisconsin for Niagara. 15 months after the northern Marinette County community's main employer closed, leaving more than 300 people out of work. Good evening, everyone. City leaders have told Fox 11 the papermaker that shut down the mill has agreed to sell part of it to Niagara for a dollar. Niagara is about 100 miles north of Green Bay on the Wisconsin-Michigan border. And city leaders are saying that acquiring the property will give some people a chance to go back to work, but not by making paper. Fox 11's Lou Hillman has our new details. It's been a tough run for the Niagara area, but Mayor George Bosley says things are starting to turn around. The area where we're looking at is up in this upper area. Bosley says the city and New Page have come to an agreement, where New Page will give Niagara a 47-acre portion of the shuttered mill site for just one dollar. We've got some interested parties involved, and it'll help us get that going. It'll get something back onto that site. The details are still being finalized. But once they are, Bosley says the city will lease part of the property to a tire shredding company. The company plans on hiring as many as 50 people. So far, more than 150 people have applied for the positions. Any job we get, we need. If it's 10 jobs or 15 jobs, people have got to eat. You know, you just, it, it's not a good situation. That's because when the city's main employer stopped making paper, many in Niagara lost more than their jobs. Oh, it's tough. It's tough. Mike Kelnovich had to give up his home and truck. He's now back in school taking classes to get a management degree. People are, are scrambling to find work and are leaving the area. This, this facility, that's this rubber tire company, is beginning to bring them back. Now, city leaders say they hope to have a deal done within a few weeks. Many here in Niagara say it can't come soon enough. New Page also agreed to give the city $500,000. While the company declined a request for an interview, Bosley says New Page is trying to help out the city many feel it left behind. Residents understand not everyone is heading back to work, but there is hope again for the community. I think it's like an ongoing process yet. I think they're still feeling it out, understanding what, what's involved, and trying to, like myself, trying to see something down the road for themselves and Niagara. Lou Hillman, Fox 11 News. And city officials say they are hopeful that more jobs will be added in the future. They say there are two other buildings on the property that could be used by other companies.